Next, we need to start putting a score uh, onto the game. So let's go back to Sprite 1. And we're going to start off with when Sprite 1 is clicked. And so make sure you get the right one. It looks the same sort of shape as the when the flag is clicked. So when Sprite 1 is clicked, it's fairly simple. On the variables, we're not going to set the score. We're going to change the score by 1. So every time we click that sprite, we get another point. So if we run that and let's have a test, you can see that's going up. It doesn't work particularly well in this window, so sometimes you need to go to the full screen mode, run that, and then just click so that we can see our score is working. What we also want, though, is if people miss there needs to be a penalty because otherwise people will just keep clicking all over the screen so we're also going to take a point off if people miss this for that we're going to go to the stage let's go back up to control so when the stage is clicked on our variables we're going to change the score not by one but by minus one so let's go full screen and give that one a try yeah, so it's taking them off, this one's putting them back on, clicking the stage, takes them off. I'm going to go back to Sprite 1. What we want to happen, we don't want someone just following a slow moving Sprite and clicking it all the time. So, when it's clicked, we're going to um, hide that Sprite. So, back to Control. When Sprite 1 is clicked, let's go to Looks. And we're going to hide that sprite. What we're then going to do though is find a way to bring it back then. So we're going to tell it to wait and we need a, a kind of a random time. So let's go into operators, pick random, and it could go from one to ten seconds or anywhere in between. Let's go from one to five seconds. We've hidden the sprite and we've waited. We want to bring the sprite back. But we don't want to bring the sprite back if the game has already finished. Otherwise the player can increase their score by clicking the sprites when they're not moving after the end of the game. So we're going to go back to control and we're going to take our if else and are forever. So let's put those together to make a forever if then else. We're going to need something from the operators so we're going to use the less than symbol there. On our variables we're going to put time into that left hand box and we're going to put one into this one. So we're saying if the time is less than one second so it's got to zero. In that case then we want to go to looks and we want to hide the sprite so it just stays hidden then or else we want to show the sprite so when it's clicked we hide it the computer waits and then it says what well, is the game still running and if it's not still running it hides it if it is it will show the sprite again so let's just try that. So we click the sprite. And now we see a problem. It's not coming back, but we don't really have enough game time to test this. So we're going to go back to the stage. And we're going to set the game time to 30 seconds now. So let's run that again. And we see the sprite's not coming back. So let's go into here because we need another program here. When the flag is clicked, we need to show that sprite. So let's try again. So we click that. The sprite should disappear, but after a few seconds, it should come back again. There it is. Let's try that again. So our score's working. Hopefully the sprite will come back again. So now 
we've got the template for all of our game. You need to save this one and then we'll come back and look at how we finish the game off.